This question says the points on a globe are given that is A, which is 50 degree north, 30 degree east, then B, 40 degree south, 30 degree east. Calculate the distance uh, uh, in what? In kilometers. Now, because we are dealing with distance on the globe, it implies that we are laying reference to longitude and latitude. Now, for us to calculate the distance of this point, we need to first of all locate this point on the globe. And we also need to uh, determine if uh, it, it is a distance involving the great circle we have to calculate or the distance involving the small circle. We need to uh, first of all figure out that. Now, there is a way we figure out that by first of all locating the points on the globe. Now, if this point is involving great circle, it implies that it has its own separate formula for calculating distance. We have a separate formula for calculating distance on the great circle. And we have another formula for calculating distance on what? The small circle. Now, but first, we need to locate this point. That's the first thing. Now, if this point lies on the same longitude, it implies that we are dealing with a great circle. But if it lies on the same latitude, it implies that we are dealing with small circle. And the both of them have different formulas. Before I proceed, I would like to walk you through uh, some basics on longitude and latitude. What exactly is latitude? Let's start with latitude. They are horizontal lines on the globe. And we have the main latitude, which is called the equator. It divides the sphere or the globe into uh, parts, up and down. The up is the north and the word south. So the upper uh, latitudes are what? They are the upper southern latitude. They are the upper uh, northern latitude because the up is north. So every latitude you see up are north. Why every latitude you see down are what? South. Then we have what we call uh, longitude, which are what? They are vertical words, vertical lines. So the main uh, longitude is called the greenish meridian. So that greenish meridian divides the circle vertically into what? Two parts, which are uh, the, the western and the east, the west and the east. So every, uh, uh, every longitude you see, if I stand like this, every longitude you see at the left hand side, they are what? West longitude. Why every longitude you see at the right hand side, they are what? They are East longitudes. Now, let's uh, see how we can locate this point on uh, the globe. All right, now, Okay. Now, I have uh, drawn the globe. Now, let me start with the latitude. Now, you must understand that every true point when dealing with uh, longitude and latitude, it must begin with the latitude because every latitude starts with either the north or the south. You can see that this point started with the latitude. That is, no, uh, no points on longitude and latitude starts with longitude is wrong it must start with either north or and south or south and north did you get that all right now so let me draw uh the equator first now this equator has divided this globe this is north this is south so north south okay now the next thing i'll do now is i am going to uh Locate these points now. The first one I have here, point A, which is 50 degree north. 50 degree north. Mathematically, we have to be correct. So, 50 degree will be what? Somewhere around there. This is 50 degree. So, uh, 50 degree north. Okay? Why it is up is because north is what? Is it below the equator or above? It is above the equator. It must be and not uh, 50 degree north will be above this equator if it was south it will be below okay now the next is the longitude which is 30 degree east 30 degree east first i draw the main word longitude which is what the greenish word meridian then followed next will be what uh 30 degree east where is it here or here this is west this is east so the line will be here. 
So 30 degree, 30 degree, uh, 30 degree should be somewhere around there. So let me call here 30 watts, degree watts east. Okay. Now, the point of intersection is this point here for A. So this is A, right? Then the next point is what? B, which is 40 degrees south, below the world, below the, the equator. 40 degrees south, uh, 40 degrees south should be somewhere around here, right? Good. So, 40 degree south. Then, 30 degree east, which is still the same longitude here. So, the point of intersection is here which is B, okay? So I've located the point. Now, if you look at this closely, you find out that those points lie on the same longitude. It implies that we are dealing with the great circle. So it has its, its own formula for calculating distance. If this point had lied on the same um, latitude, we would have calculated small circle, which has its own formula as well. But because of this has lied uh, on the same longitude, it means that I'm dealing with the great circle. And the formula for calculating distance on the great circle of points, we have, it is given as theta over 360 times 2 pi r. Now, how do we get theta and, and what is the radius? The radius was not stated in the question. So if radius is not stated, when finding distance on the globe, if radius was not stated, there is a constant radius which is 6,000. 370. This is always a constant radius, kilometers. Except if you're writing an exam and then on the and the, the people who said the question gave you a radius you're to use, then you can ignore this one and use the radius given to you. But if there's no radius, you should keep in mind that the radius will always be 6,370. But if there's radius, use the radius given to you in your question. But because of no radius was given here, that's why using the constant radius of the earth, which is 6,370 kilometers. Now, how do we get uh, theta? To get theta now, theta can be derived by either adding or subtracting the what? The latitude. Now, how, when do we subtract and when do we add? If your latitudes are the same, are in the same directions, you what? You subtract. But if your latitudes are uh, in different directions, you do what? You add. Look at my latitudes, 50 degree north, 40 degree south. They are not the same, but they are different. This is not 50 degree north, not 50, uh, 40 degree south, not south. They are different. So I'm going to add, you add your latitude to get theta. If it is the same, subtract. If it is different, add. So now my latitudes are different. So I'm going to add 50 degree plus 40 degree to get theta. But if I was having uh, 50 degree north, 40 degree north, what will I do? Subtract, right? Good. All right, now, to get theta, theta will be equal to, let me add the latitudes, 50 degree plus 40 degree. This gives me 90 watts, uh, watt degree, okay? Now, let me plug it in to this formula and calculate the distance because I'm dealing with the great circle. So, that will be 90 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7, which is pi, times radius 6,370. 0 cancel 0, 9 here 1, 9 36 is 4. 2 years 1, 2 years 2, 2 year 1, 2 years 11. 7 year 1, 7 is 63 is 9, 7 years 1, 0, okay? So what I'm left with is 11 times 910. Uh, if we multiply this, this gives us this is uh, uh, the distance will be 10,010 watts kilometers. So, this is the distance of this point on the globe. So, we've been able to tackle this problem. So, maybe on our next lesson, we're going to uh, be uh, taking problem on when the point is lying on the same latitude. So, we'll now have to use the formula which means we'll be dealing with the small circle. So we'll now use the formula for calculating distance on the small circle so that you will know how to calculate the boat. So that when the point falls on the same uh, longitude, you know it is great circle. 
And when the points fall on the same latitude, you know it's a small circle and you will know exactly how to solve them. So thanks so much for viewing this. If this was really helpful to you, please don't forget to smash the subscribe button, give me a like and share my content. May God bless you all for viewing. Bye.